first part of this problem asks us to find the amplitude for both A and B. Now recall that amplitude refers to the maximum distance that reached away from equilibrium. So with function A, for example, we'll call it A sub A for the amplitude of A, we can see that above the time axis, the function goes up to about 2.5 meters, and it also goes to about 2.5 meters below the x-axis. So we can see that this function is centered at the t-axis and reaches a maximum distance of 2.5 meters. So that is the amplitude for A. And then for the amplitude of B, we'll use the exact same process. Look at the function B, and we can see that both above and below the t-axis, it reaches about 3.5 meters. So that is the amplitude for B. Part B of the problem asks us to find the frequency. Remember that frequency refers to the number of cycles that, a, that an oscillation makes each second. Or another way to think of it, or another way to phrase it, is how many periods that the function goes through each second. So for A, we can see we start at the origin, we move above the axis, then move back below, and then back to where we started, and the entire cycle is completed in four seconds. So function A completes one cycle every four seconds. So the frequency for A is going to be one divided by four, or one-fourth, which is 0 0.25 hertz. Now we'll do the exact same process for the frequency of B. Now with B, we can see that one cycle is completed in two seconds. So function B completes one cycle every two seconds, so it's going to be one divided by two, or 0 0.5 hertz. Finally, part C asks for the period of both functions. Now, period is the opposite of frequency. It's the amount of time it takes for the function to complete one cycle. So we basically already talked about this in part B, where the period for function A is four seconds. Because as we discussed a moment ago, one cycle is completed every four seconds. Similarly, similarly for function B, we can see from the graph that one cycle is completed every two seconds. So two seconds is the answer for function B. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, let me know in the comments, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.